So you're learning to code and you know the basics, but you've kind of hit a wall because you haven't got any projects to work on? Then this is the video for you. Five intermediate projects that are guaranteed to improve your coding skills. Project number one involves the use of a Raspberry Pi. Now it's the only of these five projects that requires any other equipment. So if you have a Raspberry Pi, that's great. If you don't, you can always buy one. Uh, they're not that expensive. Or if you can't do that, then uh, just move on to one of the other projects. What I want you to do is to set your Raspberry Pi up properly, install all of the software, make sure it has the right sensors in order to be able to be a weather station. Once you've done that, I want you to use it to record the weather and then I want you to be able to analyze the data that it records. So it's going to have to store that data. You're going to have to figure out a way of doing that. And then I want you to be able to analyze that data and see if you can draw any insight out of the data that you've collected. That's project number one. Project number two, can you make tic-tac-toe, or as we call it in the UK, noughts and crosses? Can you make a noughts and crosses or a tic-tac-toe game in Python? You can start off doing a text-based version, and then you can see whether you could do more of a graphics-based one. That's project number two. With the software engineering career track, you'll learn the skills and gain the experience employers are looking for. Throughout the nine-month online course, you'll work one-to-one -one with an expert software engineering mentor to two full-stack capstone projects to showcase your skills to employers. You'll also work one-to-one -one with a personal career coach to create a successful job search strategy, build your network in tech, craft a full-stack development resume and LinkedIn. You'll also prepare with mock behavioral interviews and technical interviews too. The best part, if you don't get hired in a software engineering role within six months of graduating, you'll receive a full tuition refund. Now, it's not going to be easy, but Springboard will be with you every step of the way. Start working towards your dream career today. For more details, take a look in the description. Project number three is a good one. There is a wealth of information on Twitter with all of the messages that are written every day on that platform. What I want you to do is to mine that data, to mine that text, to answer a question that is of interest to you. So you've got to work out what that question is. You're then going to have to use the Twitter API in order to be able to access that data. You're going to have to somehow filter uh, the data that you're interested in to answer the question that you want to question and then you're going to analyze that data, that text that you acquire from Twitter. So have a think about that one. I think you'll be able to gain some useful insights for whatever question that you might want to answer. Project number four, create an e-commerce web platform. Now this doesn't have to be Amazon, but it's something you're going to have to think about in terms of design. You're probably going to have to learn a couple of frameworks. Uh, Django and Flask might be useful ones for you. You're going to have to learn how to manage a database and just work out how everything should all fit together to be able to give you the functionality that you want. It's quite a big project, but I'm sure it's something that you can do with the right research. And that's key for all of these projects. You're going to have to do a lot of research, but that's part of the learning process. And finally, project number five, can you write some code that will be able to do some sort of object detection within an image? Again, this is going to require a fair bit of research. You might like to start by looking into OpenCV and see whether that will be able to help you. Now, these are challenging problems. So don't be put off if you can't do them straight away or if you can't think how to do them straight away. They're not supposed to be trivial. They're supposed to challenge you and, you know, help you learn. The tic-tac-toe, the noughts and crosses project, is probably the most straightforward. So maybe start with that and then pick one of the others that tickles your fancy and really go with it, really commit to that project and do it as well as you can. It's going to require an awful lot of research and an awful lot of time to get it working just how you want to get it to work. But that's the whole point. By the time you've finished it, you'll be a much better coder than you are now.